YouTube friends, it's Denise here from Seuss Art and this video is dedicated to, I'm going to call the person Joy because it brought so much joy to my heart to read the email where they totally wanted me to do this from start to finish. Start to finish. Don't leave out anything, don't speed through anything. And I know I kind of talked about her a little bit this week. But I didn't really explain why and I did a whole video for her but it had no sound. No sound at all and I totally failed. Um, so if all any of my subscribers got a notification for a video and they went to find it and it was deleted, that's because it didn't have any sound. Oh my god. But we're going to do this today. We're going to do this today and we're going to do it now. And um, I'm going to incorporate the alcohol. Um, layers between this because I think it's important that anybody wants to play with this you got Crayola crayons melt them let's do this thing you got ink spray it let's do this thing it's so easy um, I love you guys so I'm gonna take you down hang on hang on hang on all right all right there you are I love you guys Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is hosier, and I have my board back here. Um, this is the board that I spray my, my masks on, and uh, it works really good for everything like this. Um, I got some great colors. I'm going to be doing a Roy G. Biv kind of theme here, so I'm going out with the purple first to it. This is a Sharpie purple. So if you want to make your inks out of Sharpies, do it. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, also, I want you guys to know um, in the future, because I finally have a recipe for making my own alcohol inks with shine and all that good stuff. All the chemicals that are embedded in there and all this, that, and the other. And I'm going to be doing that real soon. <laughs> So you can like, you can take your Sharpie colors, concentrate them, and then make your own alcohol inks on the cheap. That's what we're all about here. So let's dry this. Use a low flame, or low flame, low heat. And you'll see as it dries, you'll see it dissipate. You know, it evaporates. That's what you want. You want to get that evaporation. That's almost like fusing, you know. That's going to keep that color where you want it. And um, so this is a uh, yellow. I'm going to do yellow like this for now, but it's going to get greater later. <laughs> so this is alcohol, alcohol ink, and wax. This is on a 12 by 12 tile that I got for 49 cents at Lowe's. I think I got a 12 pack for like, I don't know, what was it? I can't remember the cost, it was so cheap. So, look at that, looks beautiful. Um, I'm gonna keep this, keep my, my spray guard here for now. And now what we're going to want to do, I'm going to move it though so it doesn't get uh, resin or wax on it. So now we're going to add some clear. And uh, to the clear, I added beeswax and I would say two little, little rocks of... Um, resin Dama resin because you want at least a five to one uh, for the other colors that I I upgraded today I didn't even bother with the with the beeswax and stuff and I just had some heavily darmard beeswax that I just saved and cut a few pieces in and then loaded up my other colors so they've got the beeswax and the Dharma resin in them. And I don't got to worry about nothing else. And I'm thinking in the future. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make that stuff ahead of time. So it saves me a lot of time. 
I just use a carving knife. I cut out a piece I like. I snap it off and I throw it in the color. That is so nice and I love that. Look at these. You're, um, you're creating texture too, guys, by doing this. So now we're going to, um, Joy, what you want to do. Um, you don't need to have clear. If you're using crayons, just choose whatever color you want as your base to, to solidify under your inks. All right, and we're just going to go for a, just a light sheen. We're not trying to melt anything here. Uh, once you hit it with the heat, you get that light sheen. And it is a part of the pores of this piece. Now, because this is all really alcohol based, I'm going to start with the yellow on top. And this is um, golden yellow. And I believe this was um, from, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know, some kind of ink product I had in the past that was really inexpensive um i can't remember what it was but she's almost done so when she's done then we're you know we'll know what she was <laughs> because she'll be something new oh my god oh my god what am i doing here we go that's what happens when you're sicilian you talk with your hands and everything goes flying okay so we got yellow um, and this is a Roy G. Biv, so let's get our red out. Where did I find the red? I'm on a red magenta. Uh, the red magenta is definitely a Sharpie because I can see the, the piece inside. <laughs> uh, and the blue, red, yellow, Roy. R O orange. Okay, we forgot orange. But I'm going right for the bib. The violet. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we'll get the other colors on the next layer. Now I'm going to dry them. Drying your colors in between layers is very important. Do it. Just do it. Dry them. It doesn't take, like, what, 30 seconds with a heat gun here, like this, and bam, they're dry. Alright. We did, we did all this on the clear, which is our base. So we're building colors. We're building layers of color. Layers of ink colors, not wax ink and you'll see where this means a lot going forward so now we're going to go ahead and add our white and um the white here has just dissolved um a rock i put a rock of uh dama resin in it and i can see where that's finally um melted and i also added about a teaspoon of white um uh, Windsor white uh, oil color all right oil for oil painting so that's where I get my white it's from Windsor because I'll show you why and it, it's like a no-brainer uh, Windsor Windsor comes in in like nearly seven ounce tubes for next to nothing it's an excellent um, it's an excellent to get so if you're gonna get into this because you can't find uh, enough white crayons just add some Windsor Windsor white to your crayon mix and you're good to go so we're gonna do a nice white layer here and you are layering as you would um, if you were doing um a pour right so let's just say everything we've done right now is our gesso and we're adding on something for the colors to play with right 
which can be white or black and sometime I'm gonna try a black one these times and see um, but we're just fixing her up here we're just getting another layer that we can add colors to da -da 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 -da. all right All right, I like this. That's good. And again, we're gonna fuser. Fuser, she's a fuser. So when I put my heat gun down, guys, I have a, a box specifically made with a board on it and it has two silicone mats. So I'm laying it down on a silicone mat so it doesn't burn anything. I know I have yellow in here, so I'm gonna go with the, the red magenta where the yellow is. And we're gonna stick with purples, violets, blues, and magentas. Except for the bottom. We're going to mess it all up and go in for some forest green. And that's the only time we're going to use forest green because we're going to use Mars green for the rest of the picture. Just because I'm putting it up. See? Ugh, it's out of the picture. <laughs> hey. Now we're going to dry it. And you'll, you're going to see, look how beautiful this is. This has um, all sorts of cells and stuff. You could stop right here, folks. If this was your abstract picture, um, you could take a, a stick like, uh, oh, I don't have one handy. Yeah, I do. This is the one I used to sign my pictures with. You could take this up and you could like flirt with the, the textures and the painting and whatever, Janet. You could, you could stop here. I don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry this. This could easily be some like Monet abstract of, I don't know, a field with something green in it. <laughs> you could put your whatever. You could do whatever here. That's not what we're here for. We're going to go ahead now and, and, and apply uh, yellow. Wax. Um, to my colors such as this one today I have some blocks of um, color that has a high capacity of resin in it from a, a boo-boo I did um, not that long ago <laughs> but I saved the chunks and so if I want to add color plus the resin plus the beeswax I just cut a piece off and I'm good to go and like I said I'm gonna probably make a video on how to do that cuz that just makes life so much easier you know you just cut a piece off throw it in you're good to go everything's back to where it should be yellow ah. and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the red much Ooh. and green and I'm really happy with these colors because um uh, they 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 have withstood so much guys these colors have totally withstood so much 
Oh, spillage, but that's okay because I put down wax paper, so we're good to go. And here's the bib part. I'm going to put some purple down here. A lot of it. And we're going to do some of this funky yellow. It adds a je ne sais quoi. I don't know what exactly it is, but it does magical things. And the... Uh, we're going to go back up here to this yellow. No, we're not. We do not want to make green up in there. So, <laughs> we're going to hosier. We are going to hosier yellow and the purple and the green. We are going to hosier red up in the sky I'm running out so <laughs> bear with me she's a squeaker she's a squeaker don't wear her out <laughs> oh my God. we're gonna put um blue sky blue down um through here which is not working so um, let's see. Oh, my, my Sharpie blue will work. Yep. I don't like that. I almost Let me toss some of that up there. It's not very strong. That's okay. Because we, we have this other purple here. I can just add to that. <laughs> Bridgie Bib! Bridgie Bib! I'm all over that. Um, and now for, like, um, I'm going to save that one. Uh, oh, orange. Aren't you glad to see me? This is Tangerine. I'm going to put her all over the place here. But she lives here. This is her house, man. Don't mess with her. <laughs> all right. Let's dry this off. Just look at it right now, guys. It's, um, can you, I don't know, I'm going to take it down. Look at that. It's doing all sorts of funky, wonderful, wonderful things. Oh! <laughs> yeah, don't let your guard down. <laughs> Alright, let's try that off. Oh, that's so funny. I'm sorry, I made a funny all by myself. I'm just the only one laughing at my own joke. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. Mama gets a potty break. Be right back. Okay, that was really quick. Much quicker for you than me, but it was fast. <laughs> so let me show you what this looks like if we just did this, right? Pretty darn cool, right? You got a, you got an abstract that you could actually dictate 
any way you wanted it to be. This could be bush, this could be landscape, this could be going up to the sky, you could do all sorts of stuff. That's not what I'm here to do today, so let's keep going. <laughs> Alright, to this layer, uh, we're going to add more white. We've added the ink, we've layered that with the ink, and we're just gonna, we're gonna pile on the white here. Oh my goodness, she's a good girl. She's all milky, milky beautiful. All right. Uh, you don't really need to worry about your brush strokes because texture is a wonderful thing when you're doing this, guys. And if that texture is a string across the top as it goes like this, so be it. Because it, it cools so quickly that it's going to maintain that shape pretty much. You'll see it underneath there. <laughs> I love it. This is why white. If you're going to do this, guys, get yourself a, a Windsor. I got two. I bought two of them, and I just eat through that stuff. If anybody wants to see how to do this with um, Crayola crayon wax, let me know. I've already made the, the wax. I can show you how to do it. It's the same, but a lot cheaper. And as long as you seal everything in with um, epoxy resin, it's, it ain't going anywhere for a couple hundred years. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's hose your... We just sealed that in underneath everything else and we're going to add more color. We're just going to go the opposite direction. So we did yellow in the top. We're going to do yellow on the bottom. Uh, red. Red and yellow. Whatever. Whatever you make, make it. Who cares? I want to use Martian green. I'm actually going to do that here at the bottom. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. <laughs> Too much color. I want orange at the top. So beautiful we created a completely different scene didn't we right and no piece will be complete without purple let's throw that in there let's throw that in there boy g bib what did we forget we got the orange right let's do orange we got the violet we got the green we see we did red, orange, green, uh, blue, and violet. But we're good. We hit them all. We hit them all. Let's try this. <laughs> and it's beautiful. Right now it could be it could be a standalone piece. Yep. But that's not how I roll. Because I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for a lot of something else. This is gorgeous. It's, she's so beautiful. Look at her. She's just like, oh, I am so beautiful. Okay. Now color. I'm going to take, um, just for the halibut, let me take some of this white, because this, like I said, everything I'm doing is an experiment, so I want to hose her down the edges with white. 
I don't mind it going other places either. I just want the edges. Ooh, my pressy finger is dying. Okay, there we go. Now we've we've encased that in a white alcohol. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh my god. I don't even want to mess with this. <laughs> okay, let's just dry it down and and be good. We'll just let's just dry it. Oh. Every time I do this, I see, oh, you know, just stop. Stop where you're at. But it's really not complete. It's just not. It's not at all. Okay. Now we're going to add some black. And uh, this last layer that I do, Joy, I like to add the black border and then just sprinkle all sorts of stuff in there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just, uh, let's get this border out. You know, I think I'm going to even actually just put more white on top of this black, the white ink. Because like I said, this is ink. This is a wax ink pour. So I think ink, ink and shellac get the final say what's going on here. And then I'm going to just do some dark, do, do this. Alright, I'm going to get some of this yellow. They call me mellow yellow. That's what I grew up with, guys. Quite rightly. Put that right on the black. Just get it everywhere. This red. This one is loaded with encaustic. <laughs> loaded with Donmar. <laughs> Purple. This is our violet of the Biv. The Biv. The Biv violet. Right. And let's switch it up for the green. Let's give it um, this green, which is uh, ow, 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 hot. Oh, that's not green. That's blue. I did that before, didn't I? Ow, 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 ow. Oh God. Let me in. Let me in. Ow. Let's go with this green. Oh, so hot. It's really hot. I got my gloves on, which makes it much easier to deal with. So let's just. I did up this one. Nice. And just because I'm experimenting. Ow. <sighs> I want to get up in here with more white. I don't know what's that going to do. I'm not sure. But um, this is an experiment, so let's do it. Bigger, bigger, bigger is better. that <laughs> let's use um emerald green no let me get a um a brown i have 
a big one over here. Give me a second. I'm finding it. I'm finding it. Terracotta. Terracotta. What a beautiful coat. Oh, look. There's a hair. Oh, got it. All right. gonna dry this you could stop here at any time if you're playing along refusing we're drying the alcohol and we're moving on to the final step my favorite I want you to see before we, I'm going to move this now. You're good. Thank you. You were such a good girl. I swear. Okay. I want to take you down here. Oh, hang on. My heat gun decided it was jumping ship. There we go. There you are. All right. So I want to take you down here and show you what's going on here. The cells, they're everywhere. They're gorgeous. They're like amazing, all right? So you could like, you could create something with the wax and hose it down with alcohol and not have to do any shellac burns. For me, this is all about the burn. This is all about not what it looks like right now, but what it's gonna look like. <laughs> okay, so let me turn off my, let me turn off my wax here. I'm thinking I'm gonna get some brown, brown. Um, yeah, that's Havana brown for the tree. Uh, orange looked really good. Um, Right. All right, so let's. All right, so I've chosen. Um, I'm not going to use any green. I've chosen uh, sunrise yellow, Havana brown, and chili pepper red. As much as I would love to put some green in here or purple, I'm not going to. I think we got enough of that going on underneath. And I want these lighter colors to pull everything out. So let's do our Havana Brown first, and before I do that, um, I need to get a wag to wash my hands. And by the way, today's wags are brought to you by Bounty, because I, I never buy Bounty because it's too damn expensive, but um, uh, they didn't have anything else, so that's what I'm stuck with. So. <laughs> So guys, did I tell you I'm getting ready to seriously make my own alcohol inks? Like the card and like all the rest of them do like serious alcohol inks that, you know, do all that stuff. But tonight, I think what's fun, um, right after this is done, and I wanted to do it first, but I don't have any place level to store my stuff. I'm going to do an epoxy resin experiment. Um, because apparently this company, Peebo, uh, is making alcohol inks now. And I don't know if it's because I, I used them in my alcohol projects and they were really flattered or I don't care. But um, <laughs> I'm going to take it and make my own inks using mica powders because I like the shinies in there. And I'm going to do some with mica powders and I'm going to do some with regular ink. And uh, we're going to make some coasters tonight. And that'll, yeah, that should be fun. So this is Havana Brown. And Havana Brown goes only on the white. 
Why not? I think brown and white go together beautifully. We are a marriage made in humanity. So let's do this thing. All right. <laughs> now again, you see that's gorgeous. You could literally stop here and this would be the, the greatest abstract you ever made. Whoever wants to do that though, because that's not it. There are so many layers in here that want to come out and play that I am not about to do that. So let's, I'm going to just dry this at night. All right, you can't, it's shellac. So here's the sun bright yellow. It's going to blend with my brown. That's okay, because that's what makes all this magical. Look at that. <laughs> the rest of this is going to be all up in um, chili pepper red, which is phenomenal color. I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to take this. <laughs> uh. Who said you? I said you. If you haven't been having many fun doing this, find another art because I swear to God this is so much fun and way less messy than acrylic pores. I mean it might look messy here on the surface but look come on what have I got a few drips of wax and clean up is a breeze and everything is a breeze. Da, 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 da. All right guys so my hands are clean I'm gonna take these glubbies off well let me put these back first. <laughs> I always make the mistake of taking my gloves off before I put the nasties away. All right. So. Whoa. Ow. 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 Come on. There we go. Oh. All right, guys. I'm going to give this a good, I don't know. 45 minutes to dry. I just love all this. Oh my god. I'm learning so much because looking deep inside here, you're in a cavern. And um, so every time I do this, I'm learning how not to burn, but to use the alcohol and the wax to make something without burning it. <laughs> but that's not where I'm at yet. This is just a learning experience. So we're going to burn the heck out of this as soon as I get back. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. Let's do this thing. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get everything out of the way. We're going to burn, 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 burn. So joy at this point, what you want is your heat gun set on a low setting. And I love starting at this corner. Let's do this chain. Oh, get your papers out of the way. You could rush it with a high setting, but trust me, uh, you don't want to do that. It just ruins every chain. not be afraid to create the narrative. This is gorgeous. 
you can read it, but go down. Going in with the flame. guys sorry that the thing just uh, decided not to focus in but I want to show you what I got and I love it a lot and what I want to do while the wax is still hot is um go through here right I want to go through and I want to grind down to the alcohol ink 
surfaces that I had at the bottom. This is cool. I'm going to save all my shavings because they could re look really cool in um, in a coaster. <laughs> um, and I do have some tools that I like to use to, to get this stuff done. So um, I got this big one. I'm just going to take these small shavings off. And everything is actually going great the way I wanted it to. So now the part that I love is the carving. So um, we're going to just carve into this. And it's not going to be thin. It's going to be fat and obscure. And that's what I'm looking for. If I wanted to do thin, I would actually use a big one. So, like, say for this. Uh, the wax is cooling really fast, so I want to kind of go quickly. And uh, I think we almost accomplished everything we needed to right here. It's like drying so quickly. <laughs> you got to move if you want to do the carving part. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Uh, I know on this side I can go down. It's letting me just go for it. It's like saying we're so melty. <laughs> we're so melty. Up through here would be another good deep. Oh my god, this is so much better than I had envisioned. This is like the white OMG. Oh. So before you do anything, make sure you sign your pieces. When they're warm. <laughs> I like that one. The other one did something a little different. Small details mean a lot. Oh my god. Oh, this piece just blew me away, guys. 
it's a whole lot more than what I thought I was going to get. Look at that. Oh my god. That's gorgeous. That's so gorgeous. Never near a land. <laughs> Alright guys. This is this is it for this piece. Enjoy. Thank you. I hope you I hope you get where I'm at. But when you get to this point, it's entirely up to you and your imagination. You know, you blow the stuff around the way you want it to be and and I'm pretty sure in my mind I had this tree. So this was what I wanted to do. But you can do whatever your mind sets to. Now you can also like at this point and um uh, I can show you physically because let's say I want a little more green in here and I think I do so um, so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop a little more green in there ow 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 <laughs> I'm just going to throw a little green down. Maybe a little right here to define where the tree starts. And that's beautiful. I'm not touching it. So that's it. That's where I'm going to put the green. And I'll show you what you can do. Yeah. I'm plasticated. Oh my god. Take a small flame. Small flame. Not a big flame. Don't get a big flame. Oh my god. And you've just like composed your entire piece. Look at that. Totally composed. Totally composed. And these pieces out here, you can thin them out a little bit. Small flame. Eh. The rest is good. <laughs> so, look at that. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's call that the white tree. Let's just call it birch. <laughs> All right, my guys. I love you so much. I'm going to be um, working now for the next hour on making uh, coasters with uh, Vitro Pebo and mica powders. Because apparently they have... This company has decided they're making mica powder infused fucking vitro for encaustic or for resin. And like, where'd you get that idea? Couldn't have been from my videos, right? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Alright guys. I love you. Ciao bella. Mm -hmm.